Hello, welcome to another video on Quantum JS. In this video, you are going to learn how to create a new project or uh, project in Quantum JS. So you are also going to learn how to define different settings for your project work in your Quantum JS. So let us start our work. So this is how your interface will look when you are opening the Quantum JS for the first time. So this is the default interface which you can customize pretty much. Suppose here are here is a browser, here is a layer window. These two things if you want you can keep it here. Otherwise you can remove them. So simply you have to press the into button located here for closing this browser window and for closing the layer window you have to press this into button. So if you want to add them again you can you have to just right click on your toolbar space then you have to select this layers checkbox then it will be show, showing here itself so in this way you can activate or deactivate different windows on your quantum js interface so these things we have already discussed in your previous video for more reference on how to customize your quantum js interface please refer to the previous video now moving back to this video so here we are going to create a new project and we are going to define some settings for our project work. So as you can see here are different options in your menu bar like project, edit, view, player, settings, plugins, web top, raster, database, web, processing and help. So each menu option again has different sub options like the database menu is having team manager, EVIS, offline editing, speed, lines. Each menu is having again different options which we will be discussing in your next coming videos. For now we are going to learn how to create a project. For this we are going to make use of our project menu. So here is the project menu. So if you click this one, if you select this project menu, there are again several different options like new open new from template open and reset save save as save as image dx export project properties like that so all you have to do is select a new it will create a new project and if you select the open it will provide you the options for opening an already existing project or already saved project previously so right now we are trying to create a new project so I'll go with this option new. So a new project has been created. So if you want to define the settings for this project, you have to select this option project properties. So I have selected this option project properties. So here if you see, so again in this new window, there are so many options. You see general, CRS, identify layers, default styles, OWS server lights, or have different options so we will be interested only in this general menu and CRS menu so when the time comes we are going to learn about the other options also for now we will be working with this general and CRS menu so coming to the general option here we are having this interface for setting our project title selection color background color save cost slides so I'm going to create a new name for my project with this text test project one. So this is my project ID and colors I'm going to keep in the same manner. That means default things I'm keeping there itself. Next, coming to the canvas units, this is the unit switch we are going to work. I'm selecting here meters or if I can go with decrease also. If you select the decrease again there are sub options like decimal degrees, degrees and minutes, degrees, minutes and seconds. So I am going with the second option. So degrees and minutes I am going to work with. So precision I am taking it is automated. So after that coordinate reference system, CR system or coordinate reference system. So if I want to change the coordinate reference system on my quantum GS interface, I have to enable, I have to check this checkbox. Once you check that one, have the option for selecting different coordinate reference systems. Here if you see there are so many coordinate reference systems. All these are different types of coordinate reference systems. So if you know what is the coordinate reference system which you have to set for your canvas, you can 
search for that suppose you want to select Everest so you can search for that and it will show up what are different types of coordinate systems with the name Everest so these are the different coordinate systems that are having the name Everest I am selecting this 1830 modified ellipsoid so you have to select the coordinate reference system according to the data given so in this video I am going to work with this 1830 modified ellipsoid so apply then ok so here if you see I have used 4018 1830 modified ellipsoid once I apply this and select this one it will automatically show here APSC 4018 so the coordinate reference system has been properly selected and it has been successfully applied to my interface now for adding the data to my quantum GIS canvas so there are options like add vector data add raster layer so add post GIS layer suppose if I want to add a shape file to my quantum GIS canvas I will select this one I will click on that one then I will browse for the file that means I will browse for the data source so here I have downloaded some shape files so which I am going to load now district headquarters dot as it will this is one file which I have downloaded previously so this is a vector format data which I am selecting and opening here so here it contains only two dots or two points so this is what is district headquarters file is having so in this way I can add new data to my quantum GIS interface so so if you want to add multiple files at a time you can also do that thing you have to select multiple maps using your control button then click on open then open that's it your files will be added so if you want to customize the color or anything just you have to double click the layer in your layer window then it will open go to the option style then you can change the icon symbol or color or transparency like that so in this way you can customize the appearance of different objects on your canvas also so which we are going to discuss in your next coming videos for now this is how you are going to create a project in your quantum js and how you are going to save so this is for save just click on save and it will ask you for location so if you want to go with the name test project one ok it is fine then you can go with the same option in this way you can save the projects and you can create the projects and you can load the data into the projects i hope you understood this video thanks for watching